and besides that, I don't even have a book with me. I have a book, y'all. I'm an author, a publisher of a book called He Who Has an Ear, Let Him Hear. Let me grab a book. I'm sorry. I got a book. He Who Has an Ear, Let Him Hear. This is my personal journey. I talk about health and wellness throughout this book and my personal journey of becoming conscious, conscious of myself, getting to know myself on a journey of coming out of religion into spirituality. I talk about fasting. Um, I talk about fasting in this book, my weight loss journey, all kind of different things. And um, what inspired me to do this one here was um, my son. Look at this here, y'all. My son inspired me to write this here book. And that's just me at the back of the book saying I did it. I put in, actually, he, he, he sent me a text and I put the text in, in the front of the book. Oh, y'all got me going down memory lane as I talk to y'all about what inspired me to do everything that I've done. So it says, it says, this is the actual text from him. It says, um, I think you should write a book because you won't be here forever. And you've gathered so much information about healthy spices, about the most high and about black history. I just feel like you should share what you've learned. So all your research get passed on or at least write like a personal book for me and Jamiron. That's my other boy. I think it'll be really cool to have something to refer to. Oh my God. I haven't read that in so long. It got emotional and it shocked me. And so my reply was, oh babe, that sounds like a great idea. I'll consider it. I love you. See that? Oh my God, my baby. I love my boys, y'all. Oh my God. So anyway, I wrote the book. And so let me, let me share just a couple of, um, things that I have some of the chapters is in here. Oh my God. I, I have um, my first love, hurting people need a healing God. Um, and so in, the, in that section, I was talking about my pain, you know, my past. Why does it hurt so bad? My first relationship and it still hurts. I graduated from pain. No more detention. I learned a lesson and nothing just happened. It's like me evolving from these chapters in my life. Then I go on to love thy neighbor as I sell. I talk about, um, about being many are called, but few are chosen. Then I get into health and wellness where I'm talking about fasting and praying. Then when I get to the section on thou shalt not kill, that's when I'm talking about the things that I realized that was really hurting me and um, destroying my body, you know? So that's really about health and wellness. And then I talk about, um, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health. So now this is the healing part of the journey of this book. And lastly, um, the conclusion, you know, <laughs> my transformation journey. Oh, that's so beautiful. So when I finish this book in the back, this book is available on my website and the audio version is available too on my website. Oh my God. I haven't fumbled through my book in a minute. It's available. The audio version is attuned to the 432 Hertz of healing energy with me speaking, me narrating the book. And so in the back, I just wrote after I did that. I said, I did it, son, with love, mom. I'm so proud of me. And so this is me, a picture of me during my journey, my transformation journey when I was a little thicker and when I lost all of the weight. <laughs> so yeah, it is beautiful. It is so beautiful. Boy, we beat it. We beat it. Left little gems behind that we forgot about. Oh, and so this was, this is what inspired me. Let me read the dedication to y'all real quick. Okay. Oh, I hope I don't cry. Let's see. I haven't read this in a while. This book is dedicated to my children, Jerry Jr. and Jamarion Watson. You are the love of my life. You've always made me proud. Thank you for giving me a reason for everything that I do. I feel honored to have you both as my children. To my mother, Tina, who was there through it all, the sickness and pain, to the healing and writing of this book. Thank you for being there for me. I honor you. And to the most high creator of this universe, my source, my doctor, my everything. Without you, I am nothing. Therefore, I reverence you in all that I do. It's funny that I thought I was making plans for my life, not realizing you were there the entire time ordering my steps. I didn't realize that the doors which stayed shut were never meant to be open. I didn't understand that the sick days were there to make me seek spiritual healing through the heartaches and the pain. 
and the pain was ordered by you to draw me closer while humbling me, which allowed me to let go of it all and let you do what it is that you do best, give life and life more abundantly. Ah, that's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. Now I'm, now I'm getting teary eyed. But my book, <laughs> He Who Has an Ear, Let Him Hear, is available also on my website, www.zoneverypub.org. And boy, as reading that, it reminds me of the journey. Don't forget the journey, baby. Because there's so much joy, there's so many memories, there's so much of unfoldment in the journey. So that's what inspires me, my children, my family, my mom, my life. Okay, no crying on, on video.